let me introduce you to three right moving yaks. You might say they look like matchsticks. Well, they're a very special kind of yak. And they're moving right along a narrow mountain pathway in a column, one behind the other, like that. The pathway is so narrow that it's impossible for a yak to ever pass another yak. But fortunately for us, they are rather agile and athletic. And they can move up and across the top of another yak. They can leap over them. A group of yaks comes in the other direction and stops just one yak length away from our first right moving column. Now, seeing they can leap up and over like that, one yak at a time, but never two, is there any way in which the right moving yaks can pass the left moving yaks, or are you saying that's impossible? <laughs> Well, believe it or not, the problem can be solved. The leader of the left movers comes up until he's nose to nose with the leader of the right movers. And that chap then jumps up and over into that position there. Then this one moves forward and the leader of the left movers jumps up and over until he's in that position there. In fact, he can keep on going and make a second jump and now he's clear of the field. What happens next? Well, this chap over here, jumps up and over into that position there. He can pause, rest for a while, and then make a second jump into that position there. At this point, this one can move over until he's nose to nose there, and then that one can jump. Now we have a gap in the middle. If that one moves forward to make the gap behind him, this trailing one here, who's moving right, can jump into that position there. Now if you notice, we have two moving left, and we have one moving right, and if he moves out a little bit further, then the second one in his column can now take up his position there. And we just have the two in the middle that are still head to head. So if they come head to head like that, this one can now jump up and over into that position there. And those three are still moving right, and these three just close up the gaps, and you have a column of three yaks moving left. And so the problem is solved. It can be done several ways, but what I want you to do is to take six matchsticks and see if you can work out the minimum number of moves in order to get the two groups of yaks moving through each other. I want to know.